Hello, my name is Victoria and today we're going to talk about a transcription. I hope my video helps you and it would be nice if you would subscribe if you like them. So first of all, what is transcription? Transcription is the process in which a sequence of um, mRNA, so single-stranded genetic information, is made which is needed for the protein biosynthesis. And why is that done? So to create proteins outside of the nucleus, it is necessary to have um, mRNA because this can leave the nucleus to the cytosol and uh, there the proteins are generated by the help of tRNA, ribosomes, amino acids and also this mRNA. How is the transcription made? So it's in three phases, through which I will go now. The first phase is called the initiation phase. The second phase is the elongation phase. And the third one is the termination phase. But let's start at the beginning. The first phase, the initiation phase. Here the double-stranded DNA in the nucleus is uncoiled and split into its single strands by breaking up the hydrogen bonds in the area that is needed to generate the mRNA for the uh, respective protein. And a promoter, not a primer this time, like in the replication, but a promoter, also a short nucleotide sequence, shows where the sequence that is needed starts. Then the RNA polymerase attaches to this sequence on the promoter and goes into 3 to 5 direction and takes nucleotides and attaches them one by one and so um, only one of the DNA strands is transcribed and we get one single stranded copy. The RNA polymerase follows along um, the DNA from the promoter in the 3 to 5 direction until the terminator sequence indicates that this process can be stopped now and the sequence is completed. Then the now single-stranded synthesized mRNA detaches from the DNA and the DNA is um, closed by the hydrogens again and recoiled so that it goes back to its initial form and the mRNA leaves the nucleus now and goes to the cytosol where the ribosomes are located and there then the translation can take part. Where now from the mRNA, um, by help of the amino acids, the proteins are synthesized. What is to mention also is that in the mRNA, we have on both sides a cap. At the five prime end of the mRNA, there's a cap made of guanine bases, and this ensures this transition from the nucleus to the cytosol um, where the rest of the protein biosynthesis will take place. And at the three prime end of the um, mRNA is a adenine cap, so also one of the four bases, um, but the function of this adenine cap is not fully understood yet. mRNA, by the way, just stands for messenger RNA because it carries the message for the protein which is needed by the body. And now in the end, uh, when the transcription is clear now, I want to go back to the replication and compare it to today's topic. So in the transcription, we talk about ribonucleic acid, so R A uh, RNA, the single-stranded uh, genetic information. And in the replication, we copied the deoxyribonucleic acid, so the DNA. In the transcription, we only have one enzyme which plays a role, which is the RNA polymerase, which attaches the nucleotides uh, to the backbone of the newly synthesized mRNA. In the replication, more enzymes were needed, and those were also in the orders they were needed, the topoisomerase, which unwinds the DNA, the helicase, which splits the hydrogen bonds, then the RNA primase, Primase, which synthesizes the primer, the DNA polymerase, which attaches the nucleotides, 
to the strands in the RNAs H, who removes the primers in the Okazaki fragments, and the ligase, which connects the backbone together so that the semi-conservative DNA is completed. If this was a little bit too fast now, you can go back to my yesterday's video about the replication and see everything a little bit slower again. So what was the purpose? In the transcription, the purpose was to synthesize a mRNA, so a messenger, for the protein which is syn synthesized in the cytosol. And in the replication, we made an exact copy of the whole genetic material within a cell, which is done in the interphase of the mitosis, which we will also come to um, probably by the start of next week, um, before a cell divides from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, and so on. And in the end, I want to talk about the localization of these processes. Both take place in the nucleus, but after the replication, the DNA stays in the nucleus, and after the transcription, the mRNA leaves the nucleus and goes to the cytosol, where then the translation will take place. The translation will be tomorrow's topic. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something and that it helps you to pass your test. And I hope to see you in the next video.